do I even remember how to do this? I don't even know. It's been a while. What did I used to say? I mean, I don't think it really matters. We're just back doing this. Um, yeah. Where to start? Um, I guess Hobby Fist back, GeoGuessr. Doing the GeoGuessing. And just as fitting as it usually is, I get stuck with a atrocious position. I do have it on four minutes. It's on world. Just because I haven't done it in a while, let's uh, start from square one, I guess. Uh, I guess we're on the edge of God's over here, and he lives next to a trailer park. Mm, sure, why not? Where to start? In a couple of months, I have uh, did break my collarbone. God, that seems like so long ago. Um, I guess I can do that as I sit here and just click down a frosty road. Yeah, it was, what was it, like August? Whenever it was, whatever the video was, I think I recorded it not too long after it, a couple of days or whatnot, where I was out for a run and, uh, didn't lift my foot up high enough and conveniently um, shoulder tackled the ground right in front of a uh, husband and wife who were just sitting there chit chatting without even well, getting ready for work, I guess. For some reason, it wasn't their house. They were doing it in front of someone else's house. And uh, I just happened to flop right down. I was making very good time. I was very surprised at how well I was doing. I feel like we're. Maybe up here. Maybe here. There somewhere. I don't know. And, uh, flopped down. And then he was on his motorcycle. He's just, the husband's just like, all right, I'm just, I'm going to go. I think the ma, the wife might have said, you go to work. I'll help with this. I mean, there, she was very nice. I mean, I bet that th there's some level of obligation, I guess, with, uh, being witness to an accident. And also, like, you're right there. There's no one else there. It's like an automatic, you're, you're stuck doing it like it or not. And uh, I just lay flopped on the ground. The thing that sucks the most after uh, you're running and then you just hurt yourself like that and come to a complete stop is, uh, you know, getting your breath back without, you know, being at a complete stop and just breathing. And then you're just like, well... Feel a little lightheaded, so I had to sit back down. And a couple of cars just drove right by me. I remember that. It was like I wasn't hiding behind trees or cars. They could clearly see me. And I don't know about you, but if you happen to be driving down the road and you see someone just laid out on a sidewalk at 6.45 in the morning, you know, you could always just stop and help, but nobody wanted to. But then I, she was nice enough to give me a ride back to the house. And then I had to take a shower. And then I went, oh, right. What just, what, how did I end up here? All right, I got to make a choice here. I got 20 seconds. This is going to be a terrible decision. I'll just say we're like in Western Pennsylvania. I thought I was on the trail of something. And then I just teleported back here. And I'm not going to figure out how to get back to some road in the meantime. There we go. Bad guess. All right, Arkansas. Good enough. 23 points. Um, this is probably up here. Then she drove me back to the house. I took a shower just because I was like, I'm going to the doctors. I don't want to be all stinky and sweaty, so I was like, I can take a shower. I mean, it, it felt real weird. I mean, the first time I've ever broken anything severe, like I fractured a pinky once. That doesn't really count. Uh, hurt real bad trying to put shirts on and whatnot, but I could do it. So, then I realized I drive a standard. 
I don't think that's going to work out all that well. So thankfully, people I live with were nice enough to let me trade cars with them. And then drove myself to the Oak Park. No, I thought maybe I can tell something from these. Nope. You know, if this turns out not to be here in just some other English location, I'm going to be a little upset. Wait, there was a sign on here. No, oh, we're not. We are not going to see that from here, I don't think. No, perfect spacing. I don't know how much... Well, what are you doing? I'm oh, just splashing around in the water. Good for you guys. Sorry. All this time back and I'm, uh, away, and I'm just like, I should be saying stuff right now, but I'm just looking at all this being like, oh, this feels a little claustrophobic. But I drove myself to the doctor's office. Gave me the x-ray, like, yeah, you totally did. Like the... I forget the medical terms for but it was the outside part on my right collarbone. Now it's this jutting bump on my shoulder. I'm no longer symmetrical. And it's just always going to be there. The thing that really sucked, though, was like, you know, collarbone hurt, but I buried my forearm into my ribs, so I got like a contusion in there. And the worst pain, I think... Right up there with wrenching my back real bad was uh, I sneezed and I tried to hold in the sneeze because it hurt so much. And then I just sat there and this, I, I, I held it in, but it didn't matter the, the damage. It would have hurt if I sneezed or didn't sneeze. And I just sat there frozen being like, I don't know what to do with this amount of pain. I just sat there being like, eh, maybe it'll end at some point. It wasn't fun though. So then, you know, I didn't have use of one arm for a while. I was like, ah, I think I should get this thing fixed before I do anything else. And then it came and went and finally got fixed. Went back, able to golf a little bit, did hiked a bunch of mountains that I wanted to, that I had to, like, postpone, because I had a lot. I was going to hike a pretty... Well, big mountain for here uh, that weekend, but then I had to cancel it. I ended up doing it two weeks ago when it was like 30 degrees on top with a 40, 50 mile an hour wind. Couldn't see anything, but it was just hiking up there, I guess, was its own reward. I don't have much luck with getting the tops of mountains and being able to actually have any good view while I'm there. Adland. Hopefully I got the right country. Okay, I did. Well, we were closer to Chiltern Hills and Aubn. Good for them. This seems to be America again. I just think, I don't know if, does this need to be an update to it? Or if you're just like, hey, I'm here, you click things, let's see if... I can figure out where we're going. This a one way. Okay. They speak English here. I do not see highway markers of any kind. That could be one. Let's see what this says. Let me... Oh, you're not going to let me see. So I guess I'll just go up this way till I see a sign. Where'd that truck go? Actually, no, that was... That's not going to... That's not how this works. Uh, the hike happened, um, I had all these ideas of things I was going to say, and now it's up to the, the actual time of it, and I'm just like, oh, all of that's just completely out of my head. It's just disappeared. I'm sure it's real important. But I kind of just, I don't know if I want to say forgot, but I got involved in just doing other things and don't want to say I abandoned this but I guess I kind of did just because I uh, did something else for a little while and then some guy messaged me on Facebook being like hey I saw a bunch of videos and he's seen all 120 well 
good for you, whoever you are from the UK. I can't remember your name right now. I don't have it pulled up anywhere, but I think you know who you are. I'm pretty sure you know who you are. I told you to come back on Monday, which when you see this will be today. I still have no idea where this is. There has not been any road signs anywhere. They speak English. Not even a, like a speed limit sign anywhere. I'm trying to see on the other side of the road. I don't see any. I got half the times gone. Um, yeah, and then when he sent this thing, I thought and paused. Like, I could do this again for, we'll see how this goes, but. I don't want to be like, no, I've got no time because I'm doing other things, but I might dial back the amount. It's not like burnout. It's just don't have time. I'm doing some other things. Whereas, can I get on that? God damn it. Where the hell is this? Is this like, this isn't Florida. Where is a road sign? This, this easily could be Canada. So I don't want to say what this is yet. And we're going to probably drive by a truck that has all the information we could use. Get me to the front of this goddamn. This, of course, this tells me. Missouri. Oh, you're stationed out of St. Louis, but that doesn't help me. This is like irresponsible. Where is this highway signage? You're a major. Okay, we finally got something. Finally. Of course, nothing here. Historical Telephone Museum. This is like a challenge to find the most boring. Why did you go backwards? Try to find the most boring thing you can imagine and make a museum out of it. And I think Historical Telephone Museum. Ranks up there. I'm going to say we're in Kansas. Just because Kansas would be the place that has a historical telephone museum. And I don't care if I'm wrong. They can be somewhere else, but no. Your historical telephone museum belongs next to Manville. <laughs> oh, I'm just totally fine with this being such a bad... Such a bad, because look at that score. We may be uh, setting records here. And of course, this isn't going to go much better because we're on a footpath. And it's not going to tell me enough. Can I get over here? Let's look at that. That dog looks, he looks angry. Can I get over there? Can I? No, I guess we're not going to link up. Wait. Wait, I was back here. There's an arrow. Um, are these like... What are these? They're not like tombstones. I don't see any writing anywhere. Just becoming gross in this and I have no idea where I am. Alright, we've got some... Uh, Pillars. Meso American? No. Maybe? Like, I feel that this could be Indochina. This could be uh, Mexico. Get me. Get me over here. I, I think I see some. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Wait, no, you're, this is extremely pertinent. Okay, the Machada Amravati. Okay, so we are Archaeological Survey of India. All right. I got to find Amravati. I am not going to find Amravati. I don't know what the hell. I mean, I'll just sit here and stare at this for a while. And I'm just going to get the country. Potentially, right? The Mahachatya. I mean, you know where that is. Good on you. I eh, will just say there. I don't know if I'm going to find anything closer, but we'll work on that. 
But I went into this with, all, again, all these ideas of things I was going to talk about, and here I am just not doing it, but I just want to make sure the main points are across. You know, I'll back to doing this. We'll see how it goes. I'll uh, dial it back, the amount of actual the Gunter district. I mean, I know they did like one video a day for five days a week, but I don't know. Didn't I just see a Maharashtra, whatever you want to call it? Entry fee. Anything else tell me anything here? No. I'll at least do this probably three days a week. You know, if I want to do any more, I don't know if I will. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just because I've been gone for a while, and I honestly thought about, well, it's been a while. I was debating whether or not I want to keep doing it, and then I uh, stopped, did some other stuff, and forgot about this until somebody reminded me. And now I'm back again. I'm just like, hmm, maybe. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. I am. You think I'd have more things to say after? One, well, what was it, like two months? Maybe longer, I don't remember exactly, but here we are. I'm just like, I don't know what else to say. Just sit here, do this. Um, Like I thought, maybe doing something with Red Dead, I started playing that, but I don't know. Plucking flowers, leaves, it's prohibited. Okay, time's up. Oh, Gunter right there. I was, oh, it wouldn't be complete unless it did something like that. There we go. So I was closer my first guess. And we're topping it off with bad video quality. Well, at least we got over a thousand. This one, I'm going to get a very bad score. I just know it. Uh, but I will not be doing any Red Dead stuff just because... I don't have any capture software that would work just because I don't think we actually ever got any Elgato thing working. And you know, if, if you remember Evo at this point, you know, kudos to you, but he's long gone. He won't be coming back. He's doing other things. It's all gung ho about it and then uh, stuck with it for a little longer than I thought he would. And now he's just. Not doing it. Doing something else. Getting knee surgeries. Fun stuff. Okay, this is pretend. This has got to be the U.S. After that, I don't know. This type of area could be, you know, the south. Like it could be here, and then for some reason it could end up here. So uh, I'm not entirely convinced where we are other than the country. And I'm sure if I see a flag, it wouldn't help me either. Rough road. Give me flags. Locations. Anything, folks. Come on. Did you miss the loud clicking of the mouse? I don't know if I have. But I have not flexed the where are we geoguesser thing since whenever I recorded the last episode was. So I guess it'll be a good exercise to think about this stuff. Come on, okay. Well, you do have one flag, but you don't have the state you live in. That would be handy. It feels like it's getting muggy here quite a bit. Oh, yeah, that was another thing I could talk about with a minute 30 left. I uh, actually started, I don't know if I'm going to continue doing it. I've done two different sessions of uh, Bikram yoga. I've never done yoga before in my life. And the thing I hate the most is uh, humidity. So I thought, that's a smart thing to do. And I went and did it. And I don't think I like it. You know, I mean... If you don't know anything about Bikram, it's just basically yoga. Just in anywhere between, I think they say 94, 96, and 100-something degrees with like 40% humidity. 
and you know 40 doesn't seem like a lot but mm, it's like a wall that hits you when you first get in the room it's that temperature and then you're doing basically stretching i mean it it seems real basic and like oh that doesn't seem that hard i just have to make a guess and i'm not anywhere near sure that this is close to where we are oh maybe this will help well if quality was a bit better on these photos it might it's some church of christ i can't tell what type of church that is but anyway i mean i went in the first time almost blacked out and threw up twice second time immediately sweated much faster and uh tapped out a little earlier and in the time i was sitting there it was just like i don't know i'll think about it i'm not sure but ooh, i no oh, west virginia i wasn't that far off but bad score but hey i haven't done this in a while if you're better at this than i am i think you were able to figure these things out better than me i dare you to find out how you would have gotten a better score on that uh alberta one but you're not here to do that. You're here to me. You just see you do very bad at this. Since it's been so long, I have to hone these skills again because they're rusty. And maybe next time I'll actually remember some uh, anecdotes because, Christ, I was gone long enough. I think it would have more than what I do. Maybe I'll go back into some more uh, yoga stuff. But in the meantime, thanks for watching, folks. If you stuck with us through this and then came back, hey, good on you. Or if it just pops up one day and like, I kind of remember this. Have I seen this before? I don't know. Oh, he's talking about stuff. He's still mumbling. He's still terrible. I'll just watch this again. But yeah, going forward, maybe I'll just do this for a while. See how it goes. But in the meantime, folks, enjoy your Monday. We'll be back. Wednesday, I guess. Try to do better. You do better. We'll see you soon.